Are you looking for the most mature and professional art video? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you looking for someone who doesn't find a cave that the devs accidentally probably left in for you to become trapped? What the? It was intentionally in the game and I've fallen down a hole. Someone who, when they play Ark, never sets a foot wrong. And someone who doesn't build the longest ladder you have ever seen in Ark. That is a big ass ladder. Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint. You know what isn't disappointing though? The support on this ARC series so far, I am genuinely blown away by the love that you guys have been showing these videos. So from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough. And to my YouTube members as well, the best bunch of people. Thank you for supporting the channel and putting a monster in my fridge. And today's story starts on a beach, watching a beautiful sunrise and getting ready for an adventure. Oh... This is it. This, this is it. I have. <laughs> I have a leather head. Yeah. Leather head. I have right here. A cold, carbonated, caffeinated beverage. I got a few hours ahead of me to do absolutely nothing. Or sit in this chair and just go on an adventure. Find some dinosaurs build a shelter have a shit on a beach this is this is it look how pretty this game is this is genuinely one of the prettiest games i've ever played yep it cost me about a tenner every minute in electricity to run this thing with my 4090 but it's oh oh i actually forgot about ron oh that hurt me that hurt me. Here lies Ron, the best thick lizard anyone could ask for. Rest in peace. Whenever it was at this point, I realized the second tragedy. Where the f Where's Harry? Where's Harry? Did. Wait, no, my hood's off. My hood's off. Where's Harry? My little. Oh. Wait, is there like a list of tame dinosaurs that I can look at? <laughs> Tribe manager. Tracking tab. Oh. No crit. This oh, no. Oh, no. Two dinosaurs and two deaths. I had let my children perish. Failed as a daddy dino. I was mortified and I was depressed. Oh. We're two for two right now. Two offspring. Two deaths in the family. Hmm. Not great. Not great, but I don't want to start today on a negative foot, all right? I want us to be positive. I want us to have fun, succeed, and win today. And to do that, I really, really, really want to build something... That's a, <laughs> that's a little bit more impressive than this, perhaps. I'm just trying to think about where I want to build it. I'm kind of tempted because we're going to need a lot of wood to do what we need to do. I'm thinking about maybe building something on top of this. We could have like a, a, a base on top of the archway, couldn't we? Should we try that? I don't know what I'll need. Probably lots. But we'll give it a go. Let me just finish uh, to deposit what, what I've got in my inventory that I don't need. And then we can... Uh, we can um, go and have a look. A new home above the archway I thought would be, if anything, aesthetically spectacular. So we set off to find a way to get to the top of the arch. A feat which should be simple, but due to the janky ass jumping in this game, it turned out to be far from. It's so janky, the game, to like jump up things. Like, I feel like that should be a capable thing. For someone of my build is to jump over that thing, but it's like, nah. Nah. Nope. It's not happening. So how do oh god, it's like a horseshoe, right? Isn't it? How do I get up onto there? I mean, the very fact that it's so difficult for me to get up there should probably deter me from building there. 
But I've made my mind up, and that's what I want to do. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, it's right there. Oh no! Something sounded like it was right next to me then. But look. There's a family of big, like, bigger raptors. God, really. I don't like leaving... Yeah, absolutely, we're going to build our thing up here. I don't like leaving the beach. However, by the looks of it, I'm going to have to get used to coming inland into places like this jungle. So it, it makes sense to, like... Can, oh, my God! Oh, yes, this game is pretty! Look! Light shafts, man. I don't know what it is about light, sha light shafts. They do it for me. If light shafts were human, they would be like if Emily Blunt and, and Emma Watson had a, uh, a child. They are just the best. What I should say as well is that so many people, and I mean so many people, the most commented thing on my video, previous ones, has been if you're playing solo, up your harvest multiplier big time. They were like, just do it. Just do it. I think... Hi! You have a quiff. Oh, no, that's like a bonehead. That's not hair. Oh, you have like a... Ver like a, a spine on your back. Oh, like... Oh, you're like that avatar one that I'd seen down there. Oh, there's different colours. There's different models of the dinosaurs. Look! They're slightly different as well. Oh, where's mum? Where's dad? God, they're cute. Um, yeah, lots of people are like, oh, you need to up your harvest multipliers because I think at the beginning of the game, it's kind of like you, you probably have an adequate level of resources for the things that you build in the early game. But from the sounds of it, is that the game can become quite grindy and it's designed to be played for multiplayer. Now, the thing is, I do have a problem and that's that I don't have any friends. What the fuck is that? That's a seal. What's a seal doing on land? What the fuck is going on? Where where was the, the ridge for my base? Where was it? Was it here? Am I here? Right, don't fall. It was here. I wonder if... I wonder if you could build like ladders all the way down. Look at the view that we... Oh, yes! This is the spot. Look at the view that we're going to get over on the bay. What do we call this? Does this have a name? It doesn't really, does it? What do we call this bay? Oh, yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Let me just farm some video engagement for a second. Absolutely shamelessly. Comment what you think this bay could be called. This is forever going to be home. This little squint of land here. That. What do we call that? Something bay. Something land. You know You know what I mean? Give me a good name, a catchy name. Because we're, we're going to remember this for the rest of the playthrough. And in... In 25 episodes time, in 200 episodes time, in three years time, everyone in the comments will be like, oh, do you remember that time that Butch spawned in May? Those were the best times. Those were the good times. Yeah. What happened next was a lot of thinking. I knew what kind of base I wanted to build. It was just trying to figure out the best way to go about it. Being new to the game, I wasn't really sure on the limitations of base building and, let's be frank, I don't have the best history with building bases. But I took stock of my surroundings and thunk many thoughts before putting anything into action. After at least 45 seconds of thinking, I had it. I knew what we were going to create. A castle. That's what I want to build. I want to build a castle, all right? Kind of a structure with four turrets at the top. Four different lookout points. And make them look like a rock, you know, like a chimney come up at the, the bit at the top. And then a big kind of open chamber bit in the middle. And then in the middle of that room, like a nice warm fire with like cooking pots and benches 
and then we can have like a workshop corner we can have like a storage corner we can have a bed bedroom corner yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do um how we're we gonna do it oh, i don't know i'm very thankful for this little geezer the metal axe because we found it in a uh, supply drop i think it was no we found it on an animal i think is it a, ra a raptor we looted a raptor but um we are gonna need a lot of wood i don't need all of these berries but we're gonna need a lot of wood because i actually want to build it out of wood rather than thatch so i'm gonna unlock all of the wood engrams here a smithy oh here we go now you need metal ingots and stuff which i don't have that seems to be we are gonna be so full no i want wood wood for now wood for now let's not get ahead of ourselves i think stone's gonna be too long to make and get and stuff let's do wood right so all we need to do is harvest a bunch of wood thatch and fiber i'd imagine and so it began chopping trees lots of trees so many trees first we needed to lay the foundations of the main floor of the base so we could build upon it from there so we chopped away and began placing them down don't really like this in the dark if i'm being really honest it is a little bit spooky i've done something a little bit different we originally i thought it's going to end up looking too long and thin nobody likes it long and thin so we're gonna have it a little bit girth girthier um just spread it out a little bit i think so we're gonna bring uh we're gonna bring that short line down to the length of this middle one here uh get get these built and then we're pretty much gonna spread it across onto the other side for as much as we can get it and then once we've got these kind of once we've got these foundations down then we'll obviously start building walls and things like that um we'll st we'll need to jump down soon to get all of the stuff get some more food and drink um and probably need to learn how to make ladders but i'm going to do that a little bit later for now just going to focus in on um this things on these this this is satisfying it's like sims but on steroids isn't it because you have to you have to make everything in quite oh and that's not going to be able to i'm probably not going to be able to fit one there am i we are leveling up like an absolute champ right now and i'm just consistently putting the points into weight that's gonna be for me by far the most annoying thing so um we'll just keep hitting on wait we really were leveling up at some speed now but my brain was also leveling up as i started to figure things out oh when you build the structures and the foundations you don't you lose the weight so i don't have to keep running too much back and forth i can keep hitting as i'm building things and that's gonna speed things oh my god i'm good at the game i am good at the game well, another level up i am so good at the game i should eat something before i starve to death though we resumed our normal service of felling all of the trees in the local area to add to our collection of wood but this was thirsty work and that's exactly when we discovered probably the most inconvenient part about our new base location. Getting down off this cliff. Honestly, the quickest way down is going to be getting to this ledge and jumping off into the water. We uh, we need to yeah, fill up our water bottle, our little water skin thing. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, no oh wait that that's that ledge isn't overhanging enough i think we have to go to this one oh, proper heavy gb's here oh no oh oh sweet <laughs> no so I, oh, I have to make that jump i have to clear all of that so <laughs> i can land in the water so i can get home quicker okay all right okay here we go are we ready i'm gonna get my spear out for the piranhas and we're just gonna run and jump are we ready
can't see when I need to jump. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, yay! That's steep enough, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're fine. Holy shit. That was high. Oh, what a rush, man. <laughs> Ooh, that did make my um, my bollocks tingle. Yeah. This is where they just feel all cold and hot at the same time. Like, like they've got pins and needles. Not good. Not good. We survived the fall, was able to drink to our heart's content and quench our thirst. But getting down was the easy bit. Getting back up to the base was harder as we had to go all the way around again. As we looped and jumped our way, we heard a supply drop descend from the skies and decided to go and have a gander. Oh! Look at the... Uh, that's a supply drop. Oh! Right next to me. I can get down, but it's a long way back up. But fuck it. Let's go and have a gander. Shit! Oh my god, that lost half my health. Oh, that was quite steep, actually. Well, this is a bit dangerous, isn't it? Hold up. I want to put my weight up. We're nearly at 500 weight now. Which is good. All right, have our wits about us. Oh! It's a monkey! Oh my days and... I, there's monkeys in the game! Do you want some meat? No? Mate, I genuinely thought somebody was like grunting at me. But it was a monkey! <laughs> right, let's have a look at this. What a bit... Wait. Save the game. The ge Do I say it? Do I say it? The game hasn't crashed yet for me. <sighs> what do we have? Oh! A sharp... Right, wait, is that... That's just the same. A paintbrush and... What are they? Cooked fish meat. Is that... What's the difference between a purple stone pickaxe and a metal... Metal axe? Damage... 181. 100. I don't use it for attacking, so what's the... I mean, we can test them out, can't we? We can test them out, or we just need to get back up there, which is all the way around here. It happened again. The game sensed that I was making some sort of progression. It could probably sense that I was happy. And the game didn't like that. It didn't like it at all. Oh, this is such a colossal pain in the ass. Seriously. Whoa! Your glowing eyes! Why do your glowing eyes? I am gonna die. I am actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die to a... Oh! Shit! Oh, I'm so dead. No, maybe I got away. I'm knocked out. How the... Did I knock myself out jumping off or was that the raptor? What do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What happens? How long do I have to... Is that the stars? Can I not do anything? Oh, I can see. Just. Just some... Oh. Are they still here? My stamina is zero. My health is, like, not good. Oh, I don't want to lose all the wood. Never thought I'd be worried about losing woodies. Were they like special night demon raptors? Oh! <gasps> and breathe. We had survived the attack from the glowing eyed night terror raptor things against all the odds. We scrambled and crawled our way back to the base and it wasn't long till we fell back into the routine of chopping trees and adding foundations. Of course though, my original plan for the foundations hit a stumbling block. All right, here we go. Bosh. Right, Ugh, come on, I've got to be able to put one there. 
I mean, I know I could make... Could I stack the foundations on top of each other? No, I, I can't. But well, that, not gonna lie, that is a pain in my asshole. It might just have to be not a square. So, shit, because I was planning on doing a, like, two by two for each corner, but that means that these are gonna be. Oh, I don't know. We'll leave it there for now. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But we do have, like, kind of the floor done now. So, what's next, I hear you ask? Good question. Oh, they're broken. So, the plan was to go and get more wood to start building the walls for this castle. And I use the word was deliberately because things went wrong. Oh, my God, they went wrong. Do, 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 do. All right, that'll do. Ah, no! Oh, I survived. Oh, god damn it! Am I gonna have to literally build like you know those baby gate safety things that you get? I'm gonna have to build like a fence all the way around the top. I just need to unbind my jump button, really, is what I need to do. I've never ran off the end of a cliff. I've only jumped off one. I mean, if you're going to do something, do it 100%, am I right? And then it happened. We survived the glowing eye dino, survived jumping off a cliff, and then it happened. And it had to happen to me. What? What the fuck? What? Oh! Oh, you are having an... What the fuck is this, Kevin? No! I'm not sure this is meant to be here. Oh, no. Can I dig my way out? Oh, great. It goes down even further. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh. Survival incentive, they said. It'll be great fun, they said. I'm in a hole that I can't get out of. Oh, wait. Oh, don't tease me. No, don't tease me like that. There's no way that... That's, that's not... That's not a glitch. I didn't glitch through something. It was intentionally in the game and I've fallen down a hole. I have fallen down a hole. And I can't get out because my pickaxe don't work. It's literally... You're right fucking there. I'm going to have to save Scummit. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. When was the last save? I don't don't save while I'm down there. I don't know what to do if I. Please please don't be in the hole. Wait, please don't be in the hole. Please don't be in the hole. Please don't be in the hole. Am I in the hole? Legendary club, metal pickaxe, my dignity. These were just a few of the things that I would lose if I couldn't get out of this godforsaken hole. Of all the things in the game, the massive dinosaurs, creatures in the water, even cliffs to fall off. No, 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 no. 
I had to get stuck in a deep, dark hole with no apparent way out. What? What's the actual plan of action here? Let's put aside all emotion. What's the plan of action? Can I build a ladder? We weren't going to give up. I was going to find a way out of this cave like my life depended on it, because it actually did. First, we tried to craft a ladder. Luckily, we had fallen in the hole with a fair bit of resources. We found the ladder engram and managed to craft it, but soon found out that you couldn't just attach it to a wall. It needed to be snapped onto something. Foundations and floors were too big. This cave is narrow and long. There was no way we could fit a big square box in it. That's when, by looking through everything we could craft, we discovered the wooden pillar. This was tall and relatively slim. The question was, can a ladder attach to it? Okay, I know it's in the wrong place, but... <gasps> there could be hope. There, there actually could be hope. Good. Ladders could attach to pillars. Theoretically, there was a chance we could climb out of this mess. Literally. The plan now was to stack the pillars on top of each other, or as close as we could, and add the ladders to each of the pillars and climb out of the top. That's when we discovered a bigger problem though. The cave was relatively wide at the bottom before narrowing around the middle, just like my sphincter when I fell down this hole. This resulted in it being incredibly difficult to jump or move when we got about halfway up. I tried everything. Every variation, every orientation, every arrangement of the pillars and ladders and I couldn't get myself past halfway. We didn't have an infinite amount of resources, we could only craft about three pillars and three ladders at one time. So this meant climbing to the top of the pillar, trying to pick it back up and place the pillar further ahead of us. I was determined to get out of this cave, I didn't want to give up. But there comes a certain point, a stage of acceptance. When it dawns on you that whatever Ark Gods there may be, they weren't letting me get out of this one. But the Ark Gods can suckle my toes. If I was going to go out, I was going to go out on my terms. There weren't any ledges I could jump off, no dinos I could run into to end my pain, but I did have raw meat and spoiled food. What if? Okay, here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to spam eat a bunch of raw meat followed by these berries. Oh yeah, look at that, and the berries. Give me that shit. Right, there we go, we're fully dehydrated, good. Good, and the, and the raw fish. Don't let anything go to waste it. Don't let nothing, is my health going down still? Ooh. That would be a yes. Oh, it's gonna fucking stop going down. Oh no, I want to die! Oh no, it's still, it'll still go down because of that, okay. Oh, here we go. This will do some damage. Oh. Oh. 50. This is it. Take one last look at this nice metal axe because we ain't going to have one for a minute. Okay, can we hurry this up please? I need to make dinner. Dino! 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 Seriously, when are you gonna die? Oh! Oh no! Here we are! In five, four, three, two, one! Twenty-eight minutes and fifteen seconds. That's how long I was in the cave for. Nearly half an hour of my life that I will never get back. If that doesn't deserve a subscription, you are a cold-hearted son of a bitch. But we go again. We crafted all the fundamental stuff that we needed, and on our way back up to the base, we spied another supply drop. Except this time, something was blocking the way. God's name is that thing! Oh, 
Right, let's look at this from an analytical point of view. Oh shit, get up. Get up here, get, get high. Get high. That has long claws. That looks like a predator. Oh god, there's loads of them. I really, really, like, absolutely, really, really need to build an easier way to get to my base. Because having to go this back assward way every time is killing me. Lit literally killing me. Like, I die because of it. I'm not even going to go for the storage thing. Right now, it's just about getting myself establ established again. It's so frustrating trying to climb up rocks. Oh, it is, j it is only up getting over it levels of frustrating. We decided to give the drop on this and just focus on getting ourselves established at our new base. The biggest problem we were having is we could only access the new base from one direction, which was inconvenient and annoying. We had to figure out a way to make it easier to reach. Oh, makes my blood boil that. It's so frustrating. Look, from that one down, we could definitely get something, something going in terms of an easier way to get on and off. You know what I'm thinking? If we build the pillars here. I don't know how this is going to work. It's just an idea. I should really stop and think about it. Before investing time and energy into it. That's right. A stack of pillars. Building the biggest of ladders. All the way up to the base. This was going to be perfectly safe to build. Bosh. 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 Oh, oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm just so bad at life, aren't I? I've done that way too close. Now, is that going to float? Now they all come down. That's good. I enjoyed that, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm slightly off center, but that's okay. Right, make another three, I think. Well, that's mighty annoying that I can't do that one there. Right, so I also need to do another couple of the pillars so i'm hoping that what's annoying with the whole ladder situation is that i can't oh, i can get a ladder mm, i maybe could have got out of that big hole if i could get wait a minute do i just need ladders on ladders do i not need the pillars can also can also be used to extend existence Oh my god, I maybe didn't need this. Like, the, the pillars. I could have just, like, one pillar to get the ladder, and then the rest of them just go all the way up. There's so much to know and learn. I'm just exposing myself on the internet for being an idiot. Although, I, I will say, the art community, on the, on the very big whole of things, like 99.9% .9 of you, have been wonderful and welcoming. There's so many people, probably the biggest comment I see... Is, oh, it's just really good to see someone who basically doesn't have a clue trying to figure things out. But there has been some gatekeepy people that are offended at the fact that I haven't watched tutorial videos. Yeah, wooden, wooden fan. I'm out of wood. Ah, oh, the fact you can't slide, that, that bugs me. That's quite cool, though, no? <laughs> that is a big ass ladder. Oh, that is a very big ladder. Oh boy, what a ladder. I sure hope nothing happens to it. So, let's see. Please don't. Please don't, like, completely break. If I pick this pillar up. Yup, that was a mistake. The ones I had stopped crying, we stuck straight back into building another. Oh, professional. Although, don't run out of wood. Right, this is where I got to. Right, let me build this. Oh my god, I love the building in this already. Um, yes, one of those, please. I'll take one box. What is offhand? Oh, that's like the shield and stuff in it. Um, now I'm just going to drag 
that into there. All right, where? Oh my God, it wasn't the storage box I needed, was it? Obviously not. It was the foundation I needed. Oh, tell you what, this game is good. Oh, that was a battle between a yawn and a sneeze and the yawn went out then. Did I just break a bone? All of this needs to come down and we need to go a literally half a foot closer. Listen, we'll be fine. We're absolutely fine. Oh, how annoying. Oh, no! This episode is taking everything from me. Big breath in, big breath out. Things hadn't exactly gone to plan, but that was okay. We had dined just a stone throw away from the new spawn so we could easily grab our stuff. Oh, there I am. Top down rather than up. Is my body going to drop? Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm all grey. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hold up, there we go. That's, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, this, <laughs> this isn't what it looks like at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look from this angle. Wait, oh, he won't let me do it. But <laughs> do you not think he just looks like a massive leathery knob? Oh Christ! Anyway, let me just um get <laughs> get rid of that as well. And then uh, hold up. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Let me just get get all of my shit and put this on. Put that on. Put this on. Put that on. Put this on. All oh, right, Jesus. We had established it was going to be much easier to build from the top down rather than the bottom up. So we plodded on back to the top of the archway and began building back down. How much water have you drank today? Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Do you have room for another glass of water? <sighs> Shit. Well, that was a bit of a waste of... Well, it's not a waste of a trip because what I'll actually do... Ah, uh, see, th that, this is going to be annoying. <gasps> oh, fuck off. At this point, it is genuinely getting ridiculous. This was the most amateur clusterfuck of an episode you are ever likely to see. But that being said, we did finish the ladder. And given how many times we had been subject to gravity in an abrupt stop, we felt it prudent to build some safety precautions. Right, jumping up onto that is okay. That's fine. What isn't fine... Can I put a ladder there? Let me make a ladder. <sighs> up to there and then a walk up there we go we've done it we've done it Ooh! wait 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 there has to be a little half wall right there were half walls well quarter walls and these would be paramount in protecting us from falling to our death we spent the next while collecting a bunch of wood and building walls. We then managed to build a sort of fence frame on the ledges up to the base from the top of the ladder. The idea here was to minimise the potential of accidentally falling to our death. Now you might be thinking at this point, Butch, why on earth have you spent so much time and effort building at a base location that is difficult to get to and to that I will say shut your mouth, this is my video and yes while you might be correct I do not need to hear such negativity. Oh. 
Wow. But it needs to be inside. Yeah. Like that. And then, could I build... I wish there was like a hammer system where I could like hold Q and just select rather than having to individually make each piece. It does. Now, as long as I can shelter this from the outside and make a mini wall there, I don't... Right, cool. Okay. 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 Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What I'm going to do just now is I'm going to place my storage box down. Uh, just so I can store everything and then it's just about getting a shit ton of wood. This isn't going to be the final place, obviously, for the storage box, but it's going to give us, um, something, at least. What followed next wasn't filled with a single bit of action. It is mundane, it is repetitive, and it is the exact moment I realised that I am very much in love with this game. I had spent over an hour building a stupid ladder to get me up to this stupid base so me and my stupid self could live in a castle. And it was beautiful. There is little limitation in Ark and there is so much opportunity. You have absolutely no idea what is around the corner. This game could have left it at massive dinosaurs and epic fights and it would probably still be a good game. But the fact I love building a little home as much as I love exploring is testament to the game. I fully hyperfixated for the next two hours building up my home. We started with the walls. This took me an age, but we built the walls a couple of blocks high. I wanted it to be roomy after all. Wow. This game's good, man. This... Oh. It's kind of sad that... Uh, th this is a really pessimistic way to look at things, but... Um, it's kind of sad that this is... Whenever we go through this journey together, right? And we're watching me build this spiral staircase, for example. Let's take the spiral staircase. When I built this spiral, spe spiral staircase, it was the last time I would build a spiral staircase for the first time. And it's these firsts which I feel makes the game so special and so spectacular. Not just this game, but any game. When you go through and you do something for the first time, you always remember it. But as you keep progressing, you do less and less for the first time. Are we all sad and depressed enough now? You know what will cheer us up? Fire. We built a cushy little campfire inside our castle and then set about finishing the roof. All right. Do 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 Um. We're getting there. Two, three, four. It's very satisfying doing this, I will say. I've never been one for being able to create, like, really aesthetic bases. Even in Minecraft, I, I haven't played Minecraft much. But I just end up doing a square house for, like, I don't know, an 8x8 eight eight or something. I have so much respect for people that can just, like... It's the same with anything, really. I really don't consider myself to be very good at anything art-related. I spoke about this in the, um... So no one can play through, I think. I really don't feel like I've got... My my only expression of artistry is with these YouTube videos. Um, but I don't consider myself to be good at art at all. I've always been a science guy. I've got my two degrees in science. I've always been science here. I come from a coaching sports science background. So it's like science or this. And, and I've always like envy people that can imagine something and just produce it. Just like will it into existence you look at painters for like for example how weird are painters like especially like portrait painters right because they could literally take they are a printer they take what they see and then they just put it down on a piece of paper and everybody should be able to do that right just draw down what they see it's just literally transcribing but i yeah, obviously, obviously not everybody does it. And I'm not trying to belittle anybody's skill for that at all. But it's like, I've always been crap at it. So it's like when people think I'm going to make this and they think about the castle. Oh, for fuck's sake, again. Have I got any flint? No. Um, Like they think about the castle and then they just build it. And I'm just like, no. I can only think step by step. I think of functionality above anything and then anything above and beyond that is like a bonus for me. If it works, that's the main thing. If it works and it looks good, 
beautiful. Dehydrated, isn't it? Oh, that's the only annoying thing is that we haven't built a castle by a water source. I mean, we're next to one. It's going to be inconvenient rather than disastrous. So that's all right. But at the same time, unless there's like a piping system in the game. I could suck up the water on a big pipe, big straw. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't get it? Because this whole episode has been about wood. Why do they look a different shade? I get that the different orientations. But why do they look a different shade? Have I done it? Oh, that is agonizingly close. We'll finish that off, don't worry. Just need to go get some water. Get some water. Uh oh. Yeah. Wasn't meant to go was not meant to go down here. On my life, gravity sneezes in this game. It's not consistent. Like, you'll be going along fine, gravity will have a little sneeze, and then all of a sudden you've been pulled in a direction which you definitely didn't press the key for. Against all odds, regardless of everything we had been through today, we were finally able to put the finishing tiles on the roof of our wonderful castle that doesn't look anything like a castle. Ooh. Ooh, so, ooh, so. Don't know how I'm going to figure out how best to do the flooring by the spiral staircase. Um, if you feel me. So, it comes up here. Right, so that's fine. That's fine. Can I have that there? Is that into it? Oh, it doesn't. Look at that. I don't bash my head. Wait, get rid of that. I don't bash my head. Look. Brilliant. So that's there. And then obviously we're going to have the walls along here. Uh, so. Oh, oh God. Wow. That looks awful, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, it, to be honest, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's okay. So, let me just try and... Let me level up first. Um, let me just try and explain to you kind of the vibe that I'm going for. This middle bit here... Is that middle? I don't know. But anyway, around this middle bit here is where we're going to have the campfire in the kitchen. We're going to have a campfire, we're going to have like a table, we're going to have seats around and stuff as well. And that's where we're going to be like cooking everything. Um, I could... I could make this higher potentially and have the bedroom up higher so i'm like i could do that i could actually what i could do is build these up higher if i can so it's up one more level and then i'm gonna double them out and bring the double out this way so think of one of these but next to it and then that means i'll be able to walk in underneath i'm gonna have this massive storage area where i'll have like storage stuff along the sides storage stuff along the sides but then because we have hold up let me do this without falling off that bit of an area there we could make that into a basement or an emergency exit at the very least this bit here i'm anticipating i presume there's some sort of gardening in the system garden out here my garden of eden that's where i'll grow all of my plants on top of this ramp if i bring them two out is where i'll have the bed and i'll have like my bedroom that's like a like a what do they call it? Like a marionette, I think it's called. Like a loft bit. That's there. And then in the corner here, we can have a general living space. Maybe in this one, we can have like a workshop and stuff. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for. I know it doesn't maybe look like a castle now, but I promise you it will. Because we're going to build this up a little bit higher. And then we're going to have a turret on each end. Like, like each corner, turrets coming up. And on the top of each turret, I'll be able to like build a lookout so I can like look out. And then on top of it, I'll have like the roof as well, the ceiling, which is maybe where I can do like more um, gardening and have like a sunbathing place. 
that's the picture that's what i have in my head it's just about putting it uh into fruition hmm. um utterly hyper fixated addicted obsessed with this game at the moment i go to work and it's all i think about i have a bath that's all i think about as i'm going to sleep this is all i think about but your support on the series so far has been sensational thank you thank you thank you it really really does mean a lot 86 percent of you however yeah i'm talking to you right now you twat 86 percent of you are not subscribed i would be over a hundred thousand subs if 86% of you subscribe. But listen, the main thing, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.